okay so middleware wl server score whatever the version you have like was 10.3 or 12c right now they are working on 12c so uh, uh, which version you are using right now in your company it's uh, the 10.3 the 10.3.6 yeah yeah whatever 11g they call 11g it, they called it 11g yes okay yeah, yeah. but uh, 12c what is the like what, what is the thing with 12g it's like somewhat advanced uh, clustering or uh... yes actually it is uh, somehow related to clustering also some in 11g there is coherence which is related to caching your application oh, caching okay. but okay. yes ha uh, 12c they are probably every time they are using coherence server for caching the application as well as there are multiple things added into that thing means if oracle has released something to it it will added multiple uh, uh, functionalities also so but a stable version is right now which every company is using right now is 10 11g 10.3.6 most of them yes most of them yes so here the script for start node manager is you are basically belongs from where i am actually from chennai okay so you are from chennai yeah, yeah. Okay. sh as well as dot cmd for windows so this one we don't need to edit anything in the store uh, start node manager dot sh right it is by default the for op, for starting the machine the yes. node manager yes 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 okay and the somehow they might have also added this to some place right if they have written the shell script they could also add this command to the to the shell script right for example if somebody has yeah yeah sure sure because the these scripts has itself a shell script written in that script if you have you ever uh, means uh, cat this sh file no the, no uh, not <laughs> see, see, see. when you are on the console please try to cat this file okay, okay. you found a length of means uh, around 100 number of lines of script is shell scripts written in okay. this okay. files also so you can call these scripts into your self made uh, shell script okay. as per the requirement no problem you can okay. call it easily okay so if somebody is going to ask uh, ask me like uh, what do you know about shell scripts uh, i can say like uh, uh, the start weblogic.sh can contain like uh, both the node agent start as well as the no no uh, starting no. the manage no, server no. manage server with no the, one no one will ask you about like that what is shell script and you will tell that uh, uh, it, it start stop weblogic server it has own shell script no shell script if they will ask you about shell script that means they they will want you to write the shell script in your as per the requirement okay that is nothing related to start web logic or stop web logic how you will use start and stop web logic to in uh, means uh, in their environment for to write the shell script that means this okay there is nothing related to predefined scripts they want you to write the script for their applications okay so this is not means anyhow correct for that question shell script is different part yes if you know how how start web logic works so you can you cat this start weblogic.sh and you found multiple there it is also setting the path 
in inside the script mm -hmm. that this will it will set the path and it will set this things and that things so it will help you to capturing things but not it because it is a predefined script and if you are yeah. writing a script you you are writing a script as per the as per your environment requirement okay okay so these are the so i can say something mm -hmm. something else for the shell script right like for example if they ask you about shell the, script na, so, so if you said that yes i have written the shell script likewise you have written your own shell script because they know that uh, a start web logic command has its own shell script okay so they will ask you that how what has been bash works why it is we are using in the shell script has been bash after that they will ask multiple questions related to shell script okay so why i am asking is nowadays the shell script uh, it's a normal question for system admin or web logic admin whatever wherever i go right for interviews mm -hmm. they are trying to understand like what have you done with shell script what you give, give example of uh, the shell script so that is the yeah, yeah that that is that is the thing means uh, if you are going for administration purpose so they will require a guy who has knowledge of shell script means they want customized shell script as per their requirement okay okay, okay. These, so these, what all what all can can be done in shell script in web logic what are the some example for shell script likewise you can means uh, create the shell script for managing the mount point okay like okay. Uh, okay. each and every web server web logic server if you are going to install you need some basic requirement is there mount point okay ram okay so okay. how to monitor the ram if you are given okay. uh, assigned a ram to the web logic server how you means uh, uh, get the, get okay. the alert if there is any problem with the ram how you will get the alert okay. so you will, you will write okay. the actually uh, actually why i'm asking these questions is like uh, along with web logic also i'm trying to clear the interviews so i'm kind of logically understanding what what uh, answers so the thing is i can also say logging can be managed by shell scripts right i can move the logs uh, old logs through shell script yeah yeah sure i think i can tell that yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah everything everything look if you are coding shell script you can do anything okay okay and also like uh, the du space uh, uh, df space h we we try to see the free space right that also we can run through shell yeah. scripts i can give yes. give some answer like that right yes you can you can use my means shell script is means you can do anything with the shell script if you have good in shell script na you can do anything to shell script okay. and there is yes they are asking about the questions related to shell script but they, there is not lot dependency on shell script because they know that uh, each and every environment has now they are using tools okay yeah. they yeah. are using tools uh, customized tools likewise uh, hpsm and uh, like why uh, some other agent tools they are if you have configured put the server name and all that thing na they will directly capture all the things no need to do any shell script so they want person it it has knowledge about shell script but not that much but i will okay. give you all the questions related to whatever i have i mean i am asking from guys which I, when, when i am taking the interviews or as, as well as when i have faced the interview i have means lots of questions related to this okay 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 so there will be no problem i will means i will that in the starting i what i is, uh, told you that i am not that type of person who is telling you all that related stuff that i uh, 100 line web logic con web logic definition and all that things i will give you the concept only and that is my only purpose in my own company when i am giving i am uh, mentoring the trainee i am mentoring same like that same like that i am not giving the what is web logic uh, uh, someone is uh, giving the 100 page questions uh, uh, means a list that read it no that is not my Okay. Uh, I just give you the that's why I'm, yeah that's why I'm also asking like some 
other other questions so that i can know the answer yeah sure <laughs> sure, sure. If, I, if i know the answer then definitely i will give you the answer yeah. okay. thank you thank you very much that is, that is not a problem because uh, asking questions clears your doubt also yeah okay? so i can learn some if they say skill scripts right you have given some answers like automating mount point logs uh, rollover and uh, space i can study something about shell script and uh, at least try to answer some 50% of what they are asking yeah even if i'm not going to do right uh, no, even if they if even, asking, even i will tell you i am not good in shell scripts okay but still i am in the environment because i know web logic okay okay so because nowadays they have n number of tools n number of tools okay but okay. means you can even likewise i will told you na clm is there which will create all the things you know not to do anything just put the name 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 and it will create all the environment of web logic okay. so like that there are n number of tools like if if your project is means from us uk this type this zone they will use always using a tool to monitor uh, their web logic applications database applications all that applications yeah, right. okay Correct. so Correct. you just need to likewise oracle has its itself a big tool which is very good in all that things it is enterprise manager you just need to put okay. the server name there it will all means it will search the search into the servers and capture your web logic admin manager servers and by default it will put all the means uh, scripts onto your server and you will get the alerts also it is so very that is a enterprise oracle enterprise manager you yes oracle yes enterprise oracle enterprise, enterprise manager it is very good tool but it is very costly so uh, companies are not using the, uh, this tool that much who will no, no, I am trying to understand like uh, if there is a question right I can just answer I am not asking for working on that mm -hmm. but uh, Oracle Enterprise Manager it will take care of all the all the Oracle products right including other yes. than WebLogic also it will take care. yes it will take care of database also oh. and other product also they have made it like that na? because this is a versatile tool okay it will handle all the Oracle related products it is not only a web logic console it is related to database it is related to other technologies middleware technologies which oracles are uh, handling right now okay but it is very costly so most of the projects they are not using this product but yes they have other multiple multiple tools they are using likewise hp hp has its own tool hp om which is monitoring all the things okay so they have the tool but yes they want a guy uh, at least who, sh who should have uh, knowledge of shell script so that if they want any customized script so he will write the customized script for their project okay it is not at, as at that mandatory things but yes you should knowledge you if you write so there is mm -hmm. yes also there is something called the wlst right web logic scripting tool that is also part of yeah that is also a part of yeah it is itself a web logic scripting tool you can write if you are means uh, it is also a individual project means likewise i can i can say that it is it is itself a technology okay, okay. in 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 start mode manager start web logic start web logic dot sh web logic is it, they are it is calling web logic scripting tool Mm -hmm. By default, it is okay. calling because it is own scripting tool, okay, as well as shell oh, okay. scripting and so, web scripting tool. So whatever uh, commands that we are using, basic commands also, it's configured through the web logic scripting tool. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. yes. So this is all uh, all are related to components of web logics. Now I am moving towards prerequisite of web logic installation. What all all prerequisites? Okay. Likewise, if you are in a project and uh, project requirement is that I need a web logic environment as an admin. Whatever what all things you need required for creating an environment. First, 
and for most thing is mount point you will ask for mount point in which mount point i need to install web logic okay okay they will provide you the mount point in the mount point you need to check whether sufficient space is there or not might be you are capturing the log also in the same mount point because if you are uh, creating the environment manage an admin server they want right they have separate order okay okay so you need sufficient space in okay. the in, in, okay. in the mount point as well as you will ask for different uh, mount point the usual for the whole day loss. you have a uh, okay vegetable section meat and seafood dishes yeah. so you need at least two mount points at the time of installation log mount point is optional whether they will okay. give or not but yes one mount point related to your web logic installation what, what you at least is, required okay okay another thing is related to okay. ram they order any item in the vegetable seafood they get it like a lunch portion right at least 16 gb or i'm just trying to call gb so actually there is a separate section called lunch special so if they order or again so that 16 gb is like minimum requirement okay so if they mm -hmm. order from the regular full menu All the items they don't get the rice included, right? It is not means you can okay. if you are doing okay. the uh, uh, means uh, installation right. in your own right. system. This is not mandatory mm -hmm. that it is related to 16 GB. But okay. yes, if you are in a project and they are asking so, about so minimum 16 GB is required because when you are creating the managed servers, yeah. you need to give assign the RAM to the managed yeah. server. Okay. And by mm -hmm. default, Oracle has recommended that you need to give 4 GB of RAM to managed server and 2 GB of RAM to admin server. Okay. Okay. So as per your how many managed servers are there in your environment, you can ask the RAM for the person. Okay. Okay. Yeah, hi. Uh, yes. Java requirement is there. Okay. Yeah, you need to check about Java also. Full menu. Uh, any other items? It does not have rice included. So I was asking what we can add extra rice price. So these all are oh. mandatory things. Okay. okay. Because without Java, you cannot install web logic. Okay. okay. Okay, Java is mandatory, mandatory, and very much mandatory. Oh, uh, you, you said RAM is required, is, mount point is required. After that, yeah, I have vegetables. All the other items. Yeah, the big from your side. No, 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 no. Because no, 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 Oh, okay, okay. And you have all the prices correct to the E24, right? Okay. Okay. Is it uh, better now? Yeah, is it better? Okay. 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 So these are all prerequisites for web logic. At least you have means mount point space around 40 GB more than that. Okay. Mm -hmm. 40 GB or more than that. I means if it is more than that then it will very good okay actually can you send all these things to my email id once the class is over because i can <laughs> yeah sure sure no no, 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 no problem no problem i will i will uh, means uh, share this mail id uh, as well as i have started recording also so you can okay sure. uh, they will share sure. the recording also with you 
Okay. So sure. let me like uh, ping you the my mail ID so that you can send it today itself. Yeah, 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 no problem. Ping. <laughs> okay, I pinged you my my Gmail ID so that you can okay. send this 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 thing today. Yeah, it is Suganat. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my name two zero zero three at Gmail. Two zero zero three at the Gmail. Okay, okay. I will share. I will share this. Thank you very much. Your, whatever you are saying, it will be very useful for me for interview as well as whatever job I get. <laughs> yeah, actually, I am means uh, giving the training like that. I have trained multiple persons in my project itself. They are means working in. They have cracked the interview of Oracle or as well as IBM and multiple companies. Okay. 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 So, because look, uh, I am giving you unusual information which is not anyhow related because I am taking your session and it means stretching the session through these types. So, I don't like these types of things. Okay. Whatever you want, okay. I will give you that much only. Okay. okay. Whatever the requirement of the interviewer, whatever I will, I know what is going on in the environment, how Okay. Will manage the, these things. I will definitely give you. Mm -hmm. Okay. There will be no problem. Okay. So these are the important prerequisites, as well as uh, likewise in my environment. What I have, what I have done, I have created a sheet. Okay. I every time when application team requires any environment I just send the sheet to the application team they are filling the sheet okay. and in that sheet each and everything is there means related to mount, mount point related to RAM related to Java path related to means uh, what managed server name they want what admin server okay. name they want how many managed servers they want whether they want cluster or not so Every information when they will they fill the information and send back to me, then we'll discuss it into the meetings that how okay. it is feasible for this application or not. We need okay. this much, that much. So after the clarification, we'll send this to the client. I'm telling you the okay. real scenario. What is okay. what it is happening in real scenario. Okay? Okay. So every time when there is a requirement means application teams doesn't know what all the things related to web logic you are the admin okay okay you can ask these questions to that guys that they have they told you that i need uh, one environment for this application you said okay mm -hmm. i am sending you the sheet please fill the sheet you have sent the sheet okay. they will fill the sheet and send back to you you found that they have uh, uh, not giving too much memory RAM but they are asking minus servers in uh, 5 to 6 minus servers and they are giving 6 GB RAM so you need to tell that every minus servers will give uh, as per the Oracle recommendation we will give 4 GB to every minus server and 1 G 2 GB to admin server so why are you giving 16 GB RAM I need this much RAM otherwise your system will not work or will degrade the RAM and it will impact the performance of the application. So if they said that no, I will give only this much, and uh, I don't aware of means uh, don't think about the application uh, degradation. No problem, you will degrade the RAM. Okay, so these all things going on in the real scenario by discussing with the application team your manager and her ma his manager discuss these things when when you will finalize these things at your level then it will go to the customer that please approve this we need to create this environment okay after that we are coming on components required for the installation so okay components what all components they are multiple tools like as sometimes uh, 
likewise there is a tool named x manager i thought you were heard about this yeah x manager you are talking about the gui or yeah for gui and vnc server yeah vnc server i have likewise uh, uh, means a person is not aware how to install the weblogic through cli mode means because in cli mm -hmm. mode is it very difficult to understand the things okay okay likewise i am doing the i am doing through cli or gui mode both but still i am feeling comfortable in gui gui mode because it is everything okay. is in front of you and you found all the thing but in cli mode sometimes you will means uh, uh, give the wrong information to the server okay sometimes you will okay. don't aware about what what i need to uh, put one or two or three like that okay but okay. cli mode is very easy as not that much tough you can go okay. for the cli mode also or you can create the server very fast Okay. okay so these are the components required for installation likewise x manager and vnc server if you found uh, feeling comfortable you can install this in your system and through this okay. you can execute the means uh, uh, binaries and there is a console in, comes in front of you and you will go for the installation okay and the third thing is mode of installation correct mode of installation is as, as you already know that cui gui as well as silent mode no one is using silent mode right now but yes uh, in the silent mode what they are doing they are means there is a xml silent dot xml file okay okay you are okay. putting major informations in the silent.xml file like admin server name port manage server name mm -hmm. and uh, node manager if you want to install node manager as uh, likewise in every big environment or any environment nowadays no one is using node manager what i am saying okay. in my whole career no one is using node manager even i am telling you that and ask him that can i configure node manager they said no no need of node manager okay. they will ask you in the question means interview okay they will How definitely you ask silent silent node what silent. is a silent node silent they will say yes right. they will ask you what is uh, means how many modes of installation you will said that cli gui and silent mode okay silent. what uh, will we do in silent mode you will said that silent mode is used for uh, means uh, they doing the installation in a very fast manner and we can uh, through silent mode we can do multiple installations at the same time okay okay yes. this that that is too much for silent mode nothing they will ask you more than that okay yes if you if you said that in gui mode then then they will ask you about the step by step procedure that okay okay this much when this screen is gone then will which screen will appear in front of you you will set that this okay. here i will give the path i will give the java path and here i will select the production or deployment mode okay. so like that okay okay cli can be the unix prompt right it's yeah. also called the yeah. unix it's the unix command line right Yeah, you really? mean CLI always you can say that black screen. <laughs> okay, the black putty screen is the sh yes. The put putty screen, screen, putty black screen is the CLI. CLI, CLI, putty black black screen is the CLI. Always you uh, remember in your mind that CLI is black screen. Black screen is a putty screen. Okay. Okay. Even if it is silent mode, right? It is again going to be run in CLI only, right? For yes, example, yes, if you yes, put the yes. uh, mode equal to silent uh, and silent dot xml it's again cli only right? yes cli only sir. nothing right yeah. okay so because it, it uh, silent mode command is there when you write the command it will comes mm -hmm. into the you, you need to uh, means execute this script into the cli mode only okay okay so any doubt in this 
no doubts side no doubt okay so today we have covered web lo what is web logic public uh, architecture of web logic this is the architecture in okay Okay. After that, we will cover uh, WebLogic application server components of WebLogic. There is no doubt in components, na? Correct? No doubts. No doubts. Sir. Okay. Okay. After that, page visit, and uh, we have covered today's topic. Okay. We are, our session one has been covered. Tomorrow, okay. what uh, will be covered? Tomorrow, ah uh, yes, of course. We'll go for the WebLogic server installation. so i will tell you in that how to install java how to set the java path as well as the logic installation by two more cli and gui how to create domains admin server manage server okay okay actually like when we are doing the installation right uh, okay. like it's going to be unix based right unix server based or? yes unix unix, unix. okay so how can we like get the unix prompt just create the unix prompt or uh, like log into some server or no no actually what i will do i will uh, show you in, into the vms okay okay fine likewise i have vmware tool so i will create okay. the environment in that okay. i will use unix version okay. so there i will show you okay. how to ins install the web logic Okay, through CLI okay. and GUI. So, so there we need to have some like minimum like so, for fifty GB or twenty no, no. GB or something. No, no. Likewise, like I already already told you this. Whatever prerequisites of a logic installation I have suggested you, it is related to your real environment. Okay. okay. For your own purpose. For your own purpose, at least twenty GB or hard disk as well as 8 gb or ram is sufficient nothing because you are using your own purpose okay you are not deploying any hard critical applications over the server okay, okay. you are not deploying so any hard in the vm we can yeah the vm we can assign the ram and the uh, in the vm you can use default ram size whatever uh, means at the time of installation web logic has uh, assigned to the manage server and like you can use that one also there is no need to okay. increase the ram but i will tell you how to increase the ram also through the script okay but no need to increase the ram so it will work in your environment you can do your uh, uh, means uh, uh, means practice on to your vm Okay. whatever i am telling you it is related to your real environment if anyone is asking you likewise i told you that uh, i in the real environment someone is asking me about the create, to create the environment so i will send the file or send the mail okay. that we need this much please fill this this sheet when they will return back then i will check that whether it is feasible for that or not we'll set up the meeting with the client or this after okay. means approving all the things we will go for the client that this this team wants this much environment can we can you provide me the servers they will when they will provide the servers then we will definitely go for the installation okay okay Okay, so, Gana, like, uh, we, yeah, yeah. so we want to like meet at the same time, 8 p.m. Whenever you uh, you came today, right? Same yeah, time. Yeah, actually, uh, at the same time, seven. They have seven thirty. We can meet. Okay. Okay, because like today you came in at uh, what to say 8 a.m. I think. No, no, no. I I came at seven thirty. Seven fifteen. I have okay. login, but uh, no one is oh. there that time. <laughs> Okay. Okay, I was there, but uh, I thought uh, okay, seven thirty we can we can. Yeah, yeah, sure, 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 sure. Tomorrow okay. we will. Thank you very much. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Thank okay. You. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye.